G'day guys, it's just uh, all the air they wanted to do for a while and make a trying to convert a car head unit to a workshop radio using a switch mode power supply from an old fucked up DVD player. 12 volt. Yeah, it? it's got that little rail connector, it's got five, positive five from all that sort of shit. 12 volt, not 12 volt. So, yeah. I'm only using the 12 volt 5 amp for the traffic for the head unit. So if I set the power supply there, the head unit in the front, that should all fit together in the box. And now what I've got to do is just fix the cowling over that. First, we'll cut the hole, mark it out. Start with this first, and we'll see how we go. Okay, there's a power supply I mounted in, complete with its power button. Screw to the bottom properly like it was in the DVD player, same way I did in here. Now they're going to make a hole for the power cord. And then, solder my power wire up, heat shrink that, test it all out. Okay, so we got our door hooked up and on test. Power supply seems to be working quite well. Just hooked up with some old rear projection TV speakers, the tweeters in the back. Got quite a bit of power. Yeah, I can adjust the angle and everything on this. Oops, something shorted out. Check to fix that. Okay, check to fix that. Maybe I haven't got enough power, but it seems to work all right. It's got more selections for higher power on that supply, so once we get that sorted out, it should work good. Touch screen. Okay, next piece No, gone too far. Next station. Okay, that works quite well. You have to convert this one here now. Six stacker. Might need a better power supply again for that one, though. Here's another one I converted about a year ago. It's a Pioneer head unit in an old speaker box. Computer fan at the top, keep it cool. Convert it to a TV antenna, they get good reception. And a 350 watt computer power supply to run it all. And some screw connectors for all the speakers. This has quite a lot of power, this setup. Works quite well. 